Tramontaine is about a young blind musician who lives with his mother uh, in a village in Lebanon and he performs in a, with a, a choir and he's invited to uh, perform abroad and for the first time in his life he has to apply for a passport and in the course of which he discovers that there's uh, something wrong with his papers and so this unleashes a search across the country uh, a search for uh, both papers uh, for administrative reasons and uh, and a proof of his own identity, where he comes from, who he is. This film is about Lebanon, and here he is, uh, for the first time in his life, forced to visit other parts of the country. He's from a village that he has seldom left, and for the, for the first time he leaves the village, and he is forced to leave this comfort zone, and he's forced to explore the country more. And this gives him a certain independence, but with that independence, an understanding of the country, because he is forced to meet other people you know, from other communities that he's never met before. And by doing so, he learns about himself, he learns about the country and his own past and the country's past. Music was an essential part of the story from the very beginning, just like his blindness was an essential part of the story from the very beginning because music, very simply, uh, in the plot, for example, he's invited to perform abroad. But he could have been invited for any number of reasons, right? He, but specifically music, because it allows him to express what, is, what he does not express verbally. And, and specifically, classical Arabic music, which, uh, which is very rooted in the land, and as this film is about the land, we chose to use classical Arabic music. The director of photography and I, uh, James Lee Phelan, and I uh, were, f were friends, uh, our friends, and uh, we developed the, uh, the visual approach over the three years. And uh, one thing that uh, I was very clear about from the very beginning was that uh, I wanted the formal nature of the screenplay reflected in the cinematography. So a very formal approach, a very sober approach to, uh, uh, to the cinematography. Um, and I wanted to avoid any type of stylization that would distract from the story, that would impose my own uh, style, let's say, onto the story and distract from it. How it evolved was, uh, first of all, the landscape was a, was a character in the film. So we incorporated, we definitely want to incorporate the landscape at every turn because we also chose very unique locations in Lebanon that are very seldom represented in cinema. Secondly, during the research, uh, well, we, uh, there was, during research, there were many things that I learned and the cinematographer learned from uh, being with Barakat Jabur and uh, and uh, learning from him and spending time and rehearsing with him. Uh, for example, the ease with which he would walk in the darkness or how he would lead us in places that are familiar to him. So he would lead us. And I definitely wanted to have this uh, within the cinematography. He would lead the audience through spaces that are familiar to him. He would lead the audience into a darkness where he feels completely comfortable. I felt like these are, um, these have as much thematic uh, relevance as they do emotional impact for me personally, and I wanted to share that with the audience.